Hey, welcome to Wild Bill's Breaks, special Bob Ross Joy Baseball edition. Uh, as you can see, Bob Ross is here with Hoot the Owl to help us on this joyous occasion. Uh, we've got the paintbrush pen from the previous box I opened. And uh, here's the set right here. Uh, this is the uh, collector's box, not to be confused with the happy little box which has significant less cards, but I think it has some exclusive parallels. Um, each uh, one of the parallels is relative to the paints that he would use on his palette. Um, with the, I think, red... Uh, I have a red uh, Corbin Carroll here out of five. Uh, and I think beyond that it goes to, a, I could never say it, Luzerne Crimson. <laughs> Uh, out of one, I want to say. So, now without further ado, let's get started. And uh, Bob will help lead things off. Let me go ahead and open the uh, the box here. Uh, I've got a uh, bladed knife there. I want to be careful not to not to poke the cards. Uh, as we rip the, the Bob Ross box. It's okay, we've got another one. Just happy little accidents, so we've got an extra. Um... That said, uh, my colors are included in the each parallel set. There's the pen right on top there. As you can see, it turns. There comes the pen. So now I have two pens, uh, one for me and one for a friend. And uh, we'll do this uh, one pack at a time. And uh, there are some inserts, but uh, mostly parallels. We're looking for a great autograph here. Uh, starting out, uh, we got Javier Assad. You can see these... Uh, just the bait, the backgrounds showing why this is the best set of uh, of the year. Uh, we've got a uh, Sap Green Johnny Bench, 17 out of 75, so that's a great start right there. We've got a Nolan Gorman autograph out of 50. That's, uh, I believe, uh, Prussian Blue. We've got a Bryce Durang, Randy Arizarinair, Ozzy Albies, Brett Beatty, Xander Bogarts, and Hunter Brown Rookies. So we're off to a great start. We got two parallels out of the gate and an autograph. Uh, I believe, I don't know how many autographs there are per box. I think it's maybe three. There's an Acuna. I may already have that. Christopher Morell, Jackie Robinson, classic players. A Frank Thomas Blue out of 50. And then we've got a Shohei Otani. Uh, what is this parallel? Painting the Corners out of nine. So, awesome parallel right there. We've got a Yoshida rookie card. Just packed to the gills with rookie cards in this uh, Bob Ross set. A hundred base card set. Um, with, I believe, three or four. There's a Jordan Walker. There's a Shohei. Um, insert sets. The Carlos Radon. I believe that is out of 82. Got a Ryan Mountcastle autograph out of 99. Uh, I believe this is, uh, what is this parallel? I believe it's all colors here. So, big autograph right there. As I <laughs> switch between my own voice and that of Bob Ross's and somewhere in between. Hope everybody's doing well on this Monday, this MLB Monday. Tipper Jones, Bo Jackson, Sammy Sosa, loving the uh, the alpine background there. Well, there's a little cabin. It's a little door. There's a Julio Rodriguez riding the wave. There's a Mark Bientos out of 75, Sap Green. It's a thick card. There's a Nolan Ryan painting the corners. Jason Veritek, the Boston Red Sox, crucial of that 2004 World Series team. Taking down the uh, the much-hated New York Yankees. Got Jose Ramirez. We got a Derek Jeter. I believe I have a green, uh, sap green uh, parallel as well. There's a Roberto Clemente, quite the humanitarian. Michael Harris, the second rookie card. We've got a George Springer, 15 out of 50. We've got a Gunnar Henderson um, rookie card here, budding talents. There's Vladdy Jr. He was bound to show up at some point. 
Corbin Carroll as well, back to back, well, not back to back, but nearly uh, both gentlemen showing up uh, as they usually do on time. Oswald Peraza. So we've got our base Corbin Carroll to add to our red Corbin Carroll, 5 out of 5. Uh, there's also an alter alternate uh, version of this product, uh, a little less expensive, if you can call $150, $200 less expensive for the happy little box. There's Mr. Tony Gwynn, one of the greatest hitters ever. Uh, Bob Ross boxes themselves selling for about uh, 400 500 range right now. It's a uh, pretty penny right now. Uh, there's Jazz Chisholm, Francisco Alvarez, uh, Budding Talents. There's Volpe. So just packed to the gills with rookie cards, uh, great portraits. There's a double of Johnny Bench. There's this Alexis Diaz, the Reds closer. Just an amazing, amazing set. My favorite uh, of 2023. <clears throat> Can't wait for this set to come out again this year if they give it another run. There's Cal Ripken Jr., so my favorite player growing up, Nolan Arenado. Gabriel Moreno, we've got Yuri Perez, rookie card. We've got Ichiro, tipping his hat, uh, saying hello. we got Mark Bientos again, uh, out of 25. We've got a Sammy Sosa, uh, peaks of power. we got Jack Flaherty, Kerry Carbon there, Alex Manoa, and Josh Young, rookie card there. So we're getting all kinds of parallels, um, inserts, rookie cards. I mean, this is just a really fun set that is well worth it, even with the price skyrocketing. I see a trout on the back there. There's Teddy Ballgame right there leading things off. Manny Machado, Joey Bart, Taj Bradley, there's Pujols, Miguel Cabrera. There's even some alternate uh, photos on here that are worth a bit more. Uh, I'll have to look those up later. There's Frank Thomas. I believe that's uh, Peaks of Power. To Ryan Mountcastle, Bryce Harper, Grayson Rodriguez, and Mr. Mike Trout in the middle of a spring in the meadow. So, uh, big autograph here, Ryan Mountcastle. Uh, not his rookie, but I believe his second year. Uh, definitely a beautiful card there with the splash of each kind of color on it. Number down to 99, uh, the Nolan Gorman autograph. So I believe we ended up getting, what, three autos here? Or two autos? Um, that was the most recent card. Uh, dropping down here, we got Mike Trapp. We've got the Shohei. We got the Frank Thomas out of 50. Johnny Bench out of 75. These um, parallels seem like they have more thicker stock to them. Uh, then the bases. Uh, it almost feels like there's two cards stuck together, which is very nice. Um, <clears throat> so, ranking the... and there's Cal. I mean, just, just look at all these great hits we're going through here. Ichiro, Sammy Sosa, Mark Bientos. I mean, parallels left and right. I love this set. You know, a little bit of shameless self-promotion, but I love the Bob Ross set. It's the best. 2023... Uh, set by far I and mean, I'm just gonna have to put all these cards in into top loaders or one touches because they're all so good uh, and uh, like I said I might do uh, I can't wait for 2024 I might do a happy little box here I think there might be an exclusive parallel there that I may be overlooking but um, can't say enough about this product I love it uh, Mr. Bob Ross Loves it. Hoot the L loves it. Um, I've got a Bob Ross pen in each hand. Uh, so, thanks for tuning in to Wild Bill's Breaks, Bob Ross edition. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday with, uh, way back Wednesday. Um, either going to do 92 tops or 88 tops, uh, depending on uh, what's going on that day. Again, thanks for tuning in to Wild Bill's Breaks, Bob Ross edition. Uh, have a wonderful night, everyone. Thanks for stopping by.